Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anika and today I am making mango panna cotta. I am making a lot of different dishes for Father's Day and this is one of them. I have uploaded those dishes so please go check those out. So to make the mango panna cotta, you will need a half cup of heavy whipping cream, a half, a half cup of milk, um, two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of water, three fourths of a teaspoon of gelatin, and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So the first step is to mix the gelatin and water. So first I'm going to pour in the water and then the gelatin. Then I will mix it together. Now I will let that sit for five minutes so that the gelatin can dissolve. In the meantime, I'm going to mix the heavy whip, the heavy cream, the milk, and the sugar together. to boil this um, you need to bring it to a boil so I'm using a microwave and um, for me it'll take about two minutes for this to um, start to boil um, but it depends on your microwave settings to this um, hot mixture that I just heated I'm going to Pour in the vanilla extract and then mix it. Now um, I'm going to pour this into the um, gelatin and water mixture that has been sitting for five minutes. So I just finished mixing it and now I'm going to pour it into the glasses and this serves too by the way. Um, this is the first layer. And now I'm going to place these in the fridge. Now, um, you need to let it sit in the fridge for at least two hours, but you can leave it overnight if you want to. Now it's time to make the second layer. So to make it, you will need a couple mangoes, some water, and three-fourths of a teaspoon of gelatin. So just like we did with the first step, mix two tablespoons of water with the gelatin and then mix it. And then you need to let it sit for five minutes. In the meantime, let's cut, let's cut the mangoes.
before I blend the mangoes, I'm also going to add a couple of tablespoons of water to it so that um, it can blend easily, more easily. Now I'm going to measure one cup of the mango pulp. Um, now that that measures out one cup, I'm going to pour half of it into the water gelatin mixture that has been sitting for five minutes. And then mix it. And now I'm going to use a microwave to bring it to a boil. So now I'm going to pour this into the um, cup that have been sitting in the fridge for several hours um, and pour it in the second layer. I'm going to make the cup straight because the second layer is just going to fill um, up the rest of the area. Now that the second layer is poured in, I'm going to place it in the fridge to let it sit for a couple more hours. This is the final result of the mango panna cotta. It looks amazing and it will taste great too. This is one of my Father's Day dishes and I have uploaded those dishes, so please go check those out. Anyways, like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on the post notifications to get notified whenever I post a new video. Anyways, see you guys next time. Bye! I also made some other panna cottas like the butterfly pea flower panna cotta, the dragon fruit panna cotta, and the fresh cherry panna cotta.